Hey everyone, my name is Desiree D and I'm a jazz fusion instrumental artist and producer from Toronto, Canada. And this is my video for music production for women. Today, I will be showing you guys how to fuse the beats, creating unique drums using the drum loops that are currently in Logic Pro 10. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a current vibe that I had been working on. So if, as you can see in this vibe, I have chosen to use a couple of different drum loops that were already in Logic Pro. So I've used R&B Candles Wine Beat, R&B Arabia, Arabian Nights Beat, and Cuban Fun Bongo 2. Now, if you're not sure where those are, you can just click the little loop button over here and then just go to the search bar and you can type in each of the beats. So Candles, that one is there. Uh, you can type in Arabian. For that one, I used Arabian Beat 1. And, of course, the Cuban Bongo. So, a Cuban Fun Bongo, too. So, that was the one that I used. So, once I chose which drum beats I wanted to use, I inputted them into this track that I had created up here. So I'm going to play them for you, uh, just so you have an idea of how they sound. So this one is the R&B Candles and Wine Beat. Now, I like the vibe. However, I didn't like the entire thing. So what I did was I stretched it out, and I only kept the little triangle that you hear and I kind of got rid of everything else. So that's a good thing about creating drums, um, creating these unique drums. You can take um, a couple of different drum patterns and kind of open them up and keep what you want and discard what you don't want. So for this particular vibe, I only like the triangle. So I got rid of everything else and this is how it now sounds. So as you can see, I only took out the triangle section and then I have just looped it. So if you want to loop a beat, you just kind of hover and you'll see the little loop um, arrow and then you just stri stretch out the entire beat there. The next one I used was the R&B Arabian Nights beat, which is over here in my hook. So again, I will play you how it normally sounds. So for this particular beat, I only liked this particular section right here. So what I did was I chopped it up. To my liking, and then I just kind of discarded everything else. And this is what I have done now with it. So I liked how that was fitting with the original um, one that I had chosen. So I'm going to play you both of them so you can hear how the Candles and Wine Beat edited as well as the Arabian Nights Beat edited. Okay, so I kind of had that as kind of my main drums. And then I just needed something else to give it that rhythmic undertone. So that's where I went to the Cuban Fun Bongo. And because I liked the way that this sound, I just kept the entire thing. So it's not too, too over the top, very simple, but it still fit with everything else. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all three drums together so you can hear them. bit of an offbeat there but there's also a um, a consistent um, beat for every single beat in the entire project so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the entire 
project for you so you can hear how I have used these three drums. <laughs> tutorial video. Hopefully I've been able to give you some guidance on how to create unique drums in Logic Pro 10 using the loops. I just want to thank Music Production for Women for this opportunity to create this tutorial for you. Remember to follow them on YouTube and make sure you comment below on the next tutorial video that you would like to see from them. All right, my name is Desiree D. signing off.